Occasionally when you go to start a project, uh, you may run up against a situation where the dialog box uh, for the project that you want to launch uh, states that it is offline. And uh, for the new user to EDIUS, this can be a little bit confusing and they may wonder, well, what happened to my project? And uh, don't worry, it's an easy fix, especially once you know how. Uh, this can happen for a couple of reasons. One, uh, you, your project may have been saved to a external hard drive that is no longer connected to your computer. Or uh, what can also happen is that the external drive that your project is being saved to, the drive letter for that hard drive has been reset. If you're working with a lot of these uh, small external hard drives, uh, say you're working with a laptop and you have dedicated uh, specific hard drives for specific projects, what can happen is you may have plugged in one of these external USB drives that has the same drive letter as the one that your project has. And uh, if this has already been plugged into your computer and then you go ahead and plug in the hard drive that your project is saved to, what's going to happen is that hard drive is going to say, oh, that drive letter has already been assigned and Windows will automatically reassign a new drive letter uh, to your project drive. So my project, for example, this morning was originally on this Africa 2013 drive and it was an E. It, it, the, uh, the hard drive had been an E drive. But prior to working on my project, I had plugged in this other drive, Worldview Images, and uh, it also had the drive letter E. So my project drive got reassigned to drive F. And uh, so as a result, when we go to start our project, EDIUS can't find the project it says it's offline even though I know that my hard drive with the project that I want to work on is actually connected to my laptop it's still showing as being offline because it's looking for it on the e-drive well there's several ways you could uh, solve this problem one is you could open up EDIUS and go under the uh, option here to restore offline clips and reassign your whole project uh, to the new drive letter. However, there's another way that's perhaps a little bit easier, and that is to uh, reassign the proper or original drive letter to your project hard drive. And the way we can do that is to get Windows to reassign the drive letter to our project drive. Now, because we already have uh, a drive connected to the computer with the drive letter that we want to reassign. We need to take that off first. So let's try and remove that. And if you're getting, if your laptop says, hold on, uh, we're currently using this, about the only thing you can do is shut down your laptop and uh, before, before you can safely unplug that e-drive. So we're going to put you on pause while we shut down our and remove that other e-drive and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and uh, let's take a look at our windows here. We see that uh, even though we've unplugged the uh, offending drive, uh, our drive, our project drive is still showing up as an F drive, not the E drive that it used to be. And that's because Windows has permanently reassigned the drive letter. It doesn't revert back if the E slot is available all of a sudden. Uh, so what we want to do is ask Windows to please reassign our drive to the drive letter that it used to be. And the way we do that is go to Windows and go to Control Panel. And uh, if your screen is not showing up uh, with all of these categories, just uh, change your option up here from this category uh, system to the icons and what we want is administrative tools and go to computer management okay and what we want to take a look at is storage click on that and disk management okay now here's where our drive shows up uh, as being an F drive we want to change that 
So just go into this area here and do a right click. And from the drop down menu, choose change drive letter and path. Be careful not to choose format. We wouldn't want to do that. Change drive letter and path. And here we can select change. And then you are given the options. These are the available drive letters at the moment. And uh, since it used to be an E drive, we'll select that. Hit OK. And you'll get this little dialog box that says, hold on, some programs that rely on drive letters might not run correctly. Do you want to continue? Well, <laughs> that's the whole reason uh, we can't run our program is because the drive letter got changed. And uh, so yes, we want to hit yes. Please change it back to the way it was. Now you may get this uh, second uh, dialog box that says, you know, um, there are some things on the F drive that are currently in use. Are you sure you want to change this uh, to a different drive layer? Something, you know, you, those programs may stop working. Well, who knows what might be accessing this drive. We just turned on the computer. Perhaps my, uh, my virus protection software is taking a look at it. Something is accessing, uh, but it's not critical. Uh, we know that uh, we want to definitely change this back to E. And uh, so we'll hit yes. And it has now become E. And we can close this. We can see that it is now E. And in order for everything to work properly, you may have to restart your computer one more time. But then as it comes back to life, you will have your drive reassigned to its original designation. And this time when you start up your EDIUS uh, project, it will say, whoa, we found it. There it is. We can select it and it will load up the project as normal and everything should be online. And there we go. Everything is uh, good to go. And so there you go. That's what you can do if you wake up one morning and you find your project is offline.